You know what's more important than life itself sometimes? Spreading managed democracy across the galaxy. Freedom. <laughs> and liberty. <laughs> and liberty, yes. So, yeah, all the above. Democracy, freedom, liberty, yeah. Whatever gets you to put on the damn suit uh, and become a Helldiver. So, yeah, Helldivers 2 has literally taken over a giant swath of online gaming. And rightfully so. It is badass. And here's the thing about Helldivers 2. It is literally just... It, it, it's just Starship Troopers, and but done right, huh? And Terminator. Ugh. And Terminator, yes. Can't forget that because of the automatons, who everyone thought was gone, but then... They were gone for a day. But then the automatons came back and released a diss track video just being like, <laughs> bitch, you thought... Well, it was a fan that made the diss track. I know, I'm, video, just, I'm just being silly. It yet. was awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. Basically... The autom turns out the automatons were just like more like just the vanguard, the ones that we'd seen so far, and now they're back even stronger than ever, which is just insane to me. Once again, this game is proving how online service gaming can actually be fun. You see? Mm -hmm. You see? It can be done right. It can be fun. It can... It... Oh, my God. Well, I mean, step one is you have to actually make a fun game. Yes. Step two is you have to not charge people out the fucking ass to have any fun with the game. Mm-hmm. And, and step... uh, you know what's oh, happening right now? It's one of the games that has previously been doing this so fucking right. Mm-hmm. Actually took a note from them because of something they did. Because the Deep Rock Galactic devs... Um, are bringing back their previous seasons and allowing anyone to replay and get, unlock the things from the previous seasons whenever they want to. Oh, my dear Lord in heaven, isn't that just an amazing thing? Look, I get but, it. I mean, Deep Rock Galactic was previously, like, you know, one of the best things because, like, the devs being so cool to their community and doing so much free stuff for their community... And that was, like, the only, like, downside was, like, well, if you miss a season, you miss some, like, cosmetics and stuff you could have played to unlock. And you'll, yeah. You'll not really be able to get those in the future. But now they're bringing it back, and it's because I think that Helldivers has implemented the permanent battle passes thing, where every time they introduce a battle pass, it's permanently there, and you can unlock it and go through it whenever you want to at look, your leisure, and you never have to worry about it going away. Look, I can understand timed events for certain things. I can understand that. But having it to where m like, people can access most of the game from here on out, like everything that's been readily available in the past, present, and future, dude, you're hitting all the right notes and you are making it to where no, new players don't feel alienated. And old players are encouraged to go back with their friends who haven't completed the older stuff. And they replay it. And thus they keep playing your game. Mm -hmm. See? It's fun! So there's people that are like way over me on levels and stuff, you know, that I play with. But they hop back in and do like lower difficulty missions with me. And like as far as I can tell, they're still having a blast along with me. Yeah. Just doing lower difficulty stuff while I unlock things. So. Yeah. And that's how it goes, man. It's a great, great fun time. It's here. a good system. Mm -hmm. They have built an amazingly good fun system for everybody. There's still a little bit of toxicity going on right now. Amongst the community, but that's just inevitable with any community. I, at some I point. hate to say it, but you're There's always, always going to be dipshits that go off on their own thing. And right now, the problem is that a lot of people, while there were orders to fight against the bugs, played on Malevolent Creek against the automatons just because they said it was like robot Vietnam and it was fun for them. This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that plays exactly like No Man's Sky, except <laughs> instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is, uh, it is personalized. Yeah, it plays nothing Joel like No Man's Sky, by the way. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the 
actual Terminators, Super Earth, the galaxy's last and only bastion of managed democracy, sends its finest <laughs> men, women, and children over seven to liberate and spread freedom to the most horrifying hellscapes known to man, where war crimes <laughs> are not really justified. But are necessary. I hope this we the Netherlands. Come on, the hell divers, humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly fire incidents. <laughs> but uh, there's no need to worry about that last one because we are incredibly expendable. All across the galaxy, Liberty's enemies march ever closer. But through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, we will fight for freedom, for democracy, and most importantly. Because it's really funny. Dudes be like, Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother in Christ, yes. it worked. Triple the defense budget. <laughs> Hell yeah. Rude. Who wrote this? That's kick ass. <laughs> Give us that. Th it, what? Who wrote that? I need that song in my life. Maybe it'll be in the credits at the end. Yeah. We need to see. We need to see the description. It. Maybe. Yeah. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is the incredibly <laughs> stupid name. Judge of Judgment. And yes, you are able to name it other yep. things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like the Pride of Pride, Star of the Stars, Patriot of Patriotism, and my personal favorite, the Founding Father of Family Values. Because this game has a lot of violence in movies. No! <laughs> Oh, here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. The second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war, and that we are currently fucking losing the galactic war. Which is why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. If you don't have any friends, then, uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did something to make him mad. But to win the Galactic War, yes. we must first understand the Galactic War. We can ill afford another Malevolon Creek. Which is why I'm going to go over each yeah, of the I was in a crew of three people that weren't speaking English, and uh, I was like, I don't know what language that is at all, but like, I just used my pings and stuff and like ended up beating the mission with them, and they were fine with it. Like, so... <laughs> As far as I could tell, they weren't yelling at me or anything, so I think it was fine. <laughs> smears across the galaxy. And uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above, which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age. On the left turn <laughs> side of the political spectrum, we have the Automaton Front, an enemy focusing on range tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. Oh, I'm out of here, guys, later. If that sounds <laughs> yeah. a little bit intimidating, then don't worry. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Chainsaw Man reference goes in the video here. But yep. talking about the automaton front is never complete without talking about the fucking creek, or as it is known by our honored veterans, Space Vietnam. Yep. This goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties. Oh. Damn! Is this SpongeBob? Oh that my leg! Is genuinely impressive considering that uh, 10 million men have already died in the Battle of the Madagascar Lemur. Those are considered. By the way, the Hell Divers will yell stuff like "Sweet Liberty, my arm!" when they get blown up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty great. That's so good. <laughs> We're already outpacing the Taiping Rebellion. In fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? I am a human supremacist! I am a human supremacist! We will go interdimensional. We will unlock the secrets of the universe. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. Boot camp's got fuck. <laughs> I want a mod that now puts <laughs> Alex Jones on the loudspeakers as you go through the training area. <laughs> You're like, we are going into the new into the new world. We are going to take everything. We are going to destroy everything. I'm going into virtual reality. <laughs> 
weird recently. <laughs> Malevolent Creek and by extension, the rest of the front is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly get. Their firepower is so overwhelming, so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the objectives. I fucking shit! Yes, <laughs> and agree. push you into what we call... It's like, it's like, how did you, it's like, tell us how you assisted in spreading democracy. I took the front. I took the tower. I secured radio communications. I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs> I got blown up 12 times. Unfortunate tactical positions. Oh, God. Your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned. I'm sorry, uh, but this shot right here. Getting ran over by the... Don't tread on me, bro. You want to see a screenshot, like, from one of my friends from just a couple days ago? Sure, go ahead. It's, like, really, really, like, you know, related to this. Go for it. And get him screenshots. <laughs> da, 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 da. There it is. This is Alucard. Uh-oh. It's got a tank right there. Oh! oh look right up there. Oh, hi. <laughs> he's fucking screwed. Yeah. yeah he, he's like, I can't do anything here but take a screenshot to show how screwed I am. Yeah. Dude, send me, send me some of that. Send me that on uh, Discord. I'll I'll put that it's in the video. In in-game screenshots. Okay. I'll just tag you in that channel to it real quick. Thanks. Post-production 8, please do your job. Oh my god. So yeah, uh, this, uh, <laughs> oh man. Let's put reply to him at Nate the Renegade. This is going on a video. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. At which point, your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make -off. I will never that screen. <laughs> so yes. Because it's because it's, it's napalm. napalm. Napalm burns in water. This planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital. But after dealing with several days of what I can only describe as angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, yeah. call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. I fucking hate the creek. <laughs> I can safely say that the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam. We lost Afghanistan. And yes. Yeah, but here's the thing. You want to know why we lost those wars? Because we fought wars of attrition and not objective-based wars. That's the problem. When you don't fight objective-based wars, you always lose. If well, we fought an objective-based war here and we ended up winning. Exactly! But uh, everybody that was yeah. fighting on the creek before there was an objective was fighting a war of attrition. Exactly! They were That's losing. the thing! You, you, you need an objective. Your, like, your soldiers need an objective. Something to aspire to. For instance, if you would have set the goal, like, hey, let's take Ho Chi Minh City in six months. Guess what? You'd have took Ho Chi Minh City eventually. Maybe not six months, but you would have took Ho Chi Minh City. God... Cut the head off the snake. Also, yeah, it didn't help the fact that the leadership in the South was just as ruthless as what the leadership in the North. Uh, so I had no definitely. idea that you could get like prosthetic arms in this game. Huh. Lost America. So goddamn it, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non-binary species, and service guarantees gender affirmation. <laughs> uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10, <laughs> man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number 9, if you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese, each one taking glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. I mean, it's... Very awesome. I... Firefly got it right, man. There's a lot of Chinese people on Earth right now, and whenever we inevitably unify and go into the galaxy to spread managed democracy, there will be a lot of Chinese people, because there are a lot of Chinese people. Well, I mean, yeah, there are. It, it's like, it's although, literally like, this is canonically like the same as like what Firefly said would happen. Although, I will, say, right. I will say this, 
I will say this, there are more Indians on the planet, and by that I mean like, you know, like in the country of India. There are more people living in India now than there are people in China. China also lied on their population statistics and they actually do not have a hun they actually have less they have a hundred million less than what they actually say. Really? Yes. Hmm. They lied about that too, like they probably never mind, I'm not gonna say that. What? They probably have a hundred million less than what they actually say now too, because they lied about their COVID statistics as well. Yeah. They've lied about a lot. They what do you expect? The Chinese government lies. Oh, a government lies. Suspicious behavior, and conversely, we Guaylo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches, for it is the God-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who has made in God's image. Really can't wait to die on fucking, uh, t legally distinct Clendathu, the terminated front. Clendathu, oh my god, I didn't re Sorry. The turbinated population problem is a wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons, each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis. We've got small <laughs> bugs, did. big bugs, immortal bugs, bugs that function as artillery, and of course, the bugs that stalk you at night. Yep. Thankfully for us, though, those are the scariest ones, in my opinion. Employer. And uh, a lot of positions are open right now. That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Because, yeah. Uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground like the goddamn Viet Cong for the third time in a row. And I do not have enough raid for this shit. <laughs> Good fucking throw, dude. <laughs> oh, Your package, no. sir. <laughs> Your package, sir. I didn't order this. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. No returns. <laughs> Guys, I'm just a level one goblin. It's literally my birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So uh, you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches were trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining the amazing local culture of uh... California. <laughs> I hope it's becoming Damn. obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call a same day shipping to God. <laughs> what? That wasn't fighting, that was suicide. <laughs> exactly. You fucking dived straight through the goddamn laser, man. <laughs> My friends, this is the epitome of this. Or sorry, this is the epitome of. Hey, watch this! <laughs> Normal circumstances. Hold on. Is what we call a same day ship. Here, hold my beer. <laughs> he literally got split in half from head to butthole. <laughs> he did. He did. Let's see if we can. And then exploded. <laughs> I'm really not sure what exploded, but he definitely exploded. Yeah, see? <laughs> Just death. <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Is what we call a same day hey, buddy! Hey! Hey, man! Hey, don't give redneck. Don't give rednecks too much artillery. Otherwise, this shit will happen. Look at all the rockets on his back. He's just like, man, I'm a walking death machine. Hey, watch this! <laughs> I came here to shoot rockets and do meth, and I already did all my meth. Shoots one rocket and blows himself up. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, shit. The fuck? Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, which are only accessible by inputting a series of hand signs, informally known as airstrike jutsu. Whether it's big airstrikes, <laughs> bigger airstrikes, biggest airstrike the engine can sustain, or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy. There are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got yep. 500 kilograms ready. Send it. Oh no. No! Fucking die. And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them, throw the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies that are running into you. 
my personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain inside and out. We also offer a gluten-free variety. Now, of course, airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver. Ooh. Just most of them. Because here at the Defense Department, we take care to provide... To, to provide... To provide... Why can't I say words? A wide array of support tools. And by support tools, I mean the machine gun, which are crucial and necessary for fighting a... <laughs> literally anything. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice. Yes. Average American police taser with unlimited ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates. For when you really hate everything in a general direction, <laughs> railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It also has two fire modes called safe mode and unsafe, unsafe mode. mode yep. Which, the, which if, if it goes wrong, it will kill you. Hey, and goes of course wrong. the... Uh, Giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. They fixed that. That is fixed now, supposedly. <laughs> there is a whole deal where if you tried to fire a rocket while turning to the right, it blew up. Yeah, the rocket would explode in the bot and just take the bot with it. So. Buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the designated disabled man who will proceed to stay inside of six different wheelchairs for 40 minutes. <coughs> and as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs for immersion reasons. But honestly. <laughs> I can, uh, <laughs> I could see my granddad if there was like a space Vietnam and my granddad had the opportunity to like use exosuits. He would just be like, "Sign me the fuck up, Sonny! I'm gonna kill me some fucking bugs." <laughs> All of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of Gamer Sup's energy drinks. Here to hey. give you a fantastic boost to your gaming ability. Oh my god! Biotech guy. I will oh. now expect of you. We in the Chinese are not going to be taking back Osto 2 on eight hours of sleep. But uh, they did also release a sleep aid. In case somebody gives you too much energy, how am I getting away with this shit? Gamer Subs comes in many different flavors, such as... Oh, I saw the ones there. Uh, yeah. Grand Grandma's Ashes. Grandpa's Ashes, that's McNasty's. Good, that's Smitty's. And Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Still my favorite, by the way. Such as Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Yeah! Grandpa's Ashes. And, uh... Good. good. It's, a. Uh, it's just good. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I, uh, went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, oh and, uh, God. God bless you if you are, you can have GamerSubs delivered with 10% off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns, in case you really don't want to play the game. As well as a strange amount of primaries that are child safe. Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many fireworks, <laughs> these are not just expected. They are required. You uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game, which is why, upon the occurrence of... My teammate's tragic passing. I will gain the ability to replace my friends with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea world. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds, and then building a Walmart supercenter on them. Local residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity of missions, like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. <laughs> they kind of do. And, and also die horrendous deaths because they just don't know how to run! It's like a chicken! Mm -hmm. Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. We did it, Patrick. We saved Istanu, along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to, uh, killing everything that moves, and occasionally, loading a gun that will do it for you. We, uh, don't really talk about the Eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves, all in service to liberate a planet by an astounding 0.0003%. This isn't a fucking charity, all right? 
reach 100% liberation, and lose all of it the very next day. I am currently reporting to you from the fifth Siege of Hellfire. Planets in Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments, like the Heaven Planet, where it is impossible to escape God's light, the constant meteor storm planet, where it is illegal to stand still, oh, the God. fire tornado planet, the uh, weird fucking animal planet, I'm going to call you a uh, Genghis Shingles Bringer, and the planet that, before it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a resupply much more interesting. Oh, please put oh. this back in the game. Look, Helldivers is a game that gives you a lot of tools and a lot of places to use them. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is uh, not my fucking job. The developers are literally adding Fair things enough. faster than I could show them to you. I uh, began making this video before mechs existed. Yeah. So inevitably, when the day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about, I guess I'll be making a video about it. As long as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an absolute. I'm viewing it right now, ain't I? I am too, yeah. Like <laughs> mess, where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. So here's the thing: is I think that he put this out too early to talk about the Malevolent Creek Cape, like because he talked about Malevolent Creek, obviously, but, but not the he cape. talked about it as if it was still going on. Mm-hmm. So now the cape's out and it's done with. Somehow, some way, I At least still for the moment. Huh? At least it's done with for the moment. What I'm my sure friends. it'll be back again. Some may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love this game. Yep. No matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like the angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable health care. They'll keep fighting and they'll win. And to be honest, the most fun I've had in the game was like in a mission where like it just kept throwing so much bullshit at us. Like we were at the extraction zone, right? It's up on this little plateau. Yeah. And I get there. And I'm like calling it in while my other three teammates are running. I was like, I'm going to call it in because this has been bullshit. We've killed like 16 tanks. Like, you know, let's get the fuck out of here. This has been awful. And like, I'm like, beep, 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 beep. Psh! Incoming extraction. Boom. Ah! And I get fucking flung off the extraction thing as I finish calling it in. Uh, like off the plateau and I'm like holy shit and I fucking heal myself I like, stand up and I'm looking down the barrel of a tank and I'm like holy shit <laughs> I run behind the tank have to go all the way back around the plateau I get there there's a fucking small squadron of those little AT-80 -AT looking fucking yeah, yeah, I know the bastards and I have to kill like I think it was probably 12 of them to get back on the plateau and I end up getting back on there as the thing that picks us up lands. My friends have already gotten up there in my process of running all the way back around trying not to get killed by tanks. I somehow did the whole thing without dying and I was like, I have no idea how I'm still alive right now, but that was fun as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have those moments in this game where it's just like it's like all hope seems lost and then all of a sudden Liberty mode activates, and you just you become the you become the scourge of the of like the bugs and the automatons. But mostly, I was I was doing a whole lot of this. <laughs> I can see that. God. Well, yeah. This Jesus. So. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's get back into this. The game today. On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most original content. Anyways, I'm guessing uh, he's going to be doing a Dragon's Dogma 2 video in the near future. Yeah, the looks, probably. Still haven't got to play that, but I've seen a lot about it. Now.
So I guess we're not gonna see the thing in the cre the song in the credits. No, it's not Hopefully there. It's in the description. Let's take a look. Is it in the description? Original song by Oh Jonathan Jonathan Why Music. Attention. Oh Jonathan Young. Young. Hell That's yeah. Please direct your attention yeah, yeah. to the nearest monitor for this mandatory broadcast incoming from Super Earth. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, and Rashad E.B. I love Rashad. <laughs> it's one of my favorite YouTube musicians besides Jules. That's wicked, man. I like that. Oh, when you drop a stratagem in a... Okay. There's a mild titan over there! Let's see how it feels about a 500 kilogram bow! Oh, God! What do we do now, Captain? We hug for democracy. Pretty much. <laughs> the planet is liberated. You win. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, yeah. That was uh, Maxor with his Helldivers 2 video. And I got to say, democracy, freedom, all the above. <laughs> so yeah I uh, boom, 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 and that's the other thing too Nick is obsessed with that theme he just won't stop playing it <laughs> so alright uh, what do y'all think of uh, Max Horse video I liked it a lot this was this was really really good and we hope that uh, you know, like you I say, all... I always enjoy his videos the most when I've actually played the game he's talking about because I don't feel like I'm losing my mind trying to keep up. <laughs> I'd love to see him make another Helldivers video, especially considering everything else that they've added, and also him talking, him potentially talking about the toxicity involving the cape. That that could be interesting. Yeah, but uh, I guess we'll see. And plus, the whole idea that like you know, in the past few days we wiped out the automatons. For a day. Yeah. They're back now. Three times bigger <sighs> of an invasion force. Well, as if it couldn't have gotten any worse, it just did. So, anyway. I'll have to get on and dole out some democracy tonight, I guess. Yep. Cracks knuckles. And just... See, he can do that, and I can't, because, I don't know, I guess my joints are just weird. Anyway... I think that's going to do it, everyone. So thank you all very much for tuning in. Be sure to check out the original video from Maxor. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.